Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now today I've got something a little bit special for you because I've got some exclusive time with this, the brand new Mercedes EQS SUV. Now this is a very important car for Mercedes-Benz. It propels them into the luxury all-electric SUV sector, which up until now has pretty much been the domain of Tesla and BMW, and you could even say Audi. Now coming up now is everything you need to know about this car. So we've got some exclusive time with this car in Frankfurt. Um, so I thought you would like to have a little look around this car and hopefully you're as excited about it as I am. Now, it won't be much of a surprise to you. This is the SUV version of the new EQS saloon. It uses the same platform, it uses the same batteries and it shares that car's styling. But of course, it's in a much more of an SUV-like shape. Now, the front, you get this new flush fitting grille you can't even call it a grille with the mercedes bear badge proudly on show and look at these little three-pointed stars that's a really nice little design motif there isn't it you get the full led light across the top of the grille and then you get these three little elements that denote this is an s series mercedes benz pretty much a world first here these wheels see the little three-pointed stars there now this is a special technique and it's all designed to maximize aero efficiency all eqs suvs get black wheel arch trim and it all helps with the proportions and that is a key theme with this car because mercedes has worked really hard to keep the this car looking as sleek as possible so all cars get a black roof and a black spoiler just trying to bring the bulkiness down because when well, SUV is inherently bulky but particularly so an electric SUV because it has to sit so high off the road and I think Mercedes have done a good job here at sort of slimming down the profile here at the back you get this full LED light rear light bar and it just look, I like this LED pattern. It just looks like it's sort of twisted and folded. Now, under the rear bumper, there is a little aero sort of spoiler there. It's all designed to get this car to be as efficient as possible. And you might have noticed the running boards as well, which are a classic Mercedes SUV design trait, aren't they? But in the case of the EQS SUV, they actually help aerodynamics. And if you're wondering what this is, it's not the charging point. That is where you put the washer fluid. Yes, really. Okay, right, let's just have a quick look in the boot. Electric tailgate, as you'd expect. Now you can get the EQS SUV as a five-seater or as a seven-seater. We've obviously got the seven-seater version here. Now with all seven seats in place, you still get 195 liters of space here, which is still pretty good. Under here, you've got storage for the parcel shelf. Um, I'll have to sort of test this at another time, but I think you could probably fit a couple of adults there. They might be a little bit squished, but it won't be too bad. Um, you can fold down the middle row. It's electric. There we go. And the same with the other one. And once it's folded down, you've got a, a near flat loading area. Not completely, but it's not too bad at all. And once all those seats down, you've got over 2000 liters of space on offer. So there is huge amount of practicality from this car. 
in the back and thanks to that electric car platform you've got a completely flat floor back here so there is tons of space um, we've got the middle seat down at the moment so you've got your uh, tablet display a couple more tablets on the backs of the seats as well because this is a top spec car you get these lovely cushions for the for ultimate comfort and yeah there is loads of space for people to to stretch out back here and inside this being the SUV version of the EQS you get the same dashboard now on this car we've got the hyper screen so the entire uh, front fascia of the dashboard is one huge screen so you've got your digital dials in front of you you've got the central infotainment system and then you've got a passion passenger screen as well now some clever tech going on here mercedes have always thinking about safety as you would expect and they've got a special system in here so if the 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 car is constantly reading or looking at the driver's eyes and if the driver happens to look over to the right hand side and starts to get distracted at this screen that screen starts to fade away so you can't see it of course Mercedes is clever enough not to switch that screen off if you're actually just glancing into the side mirror there but an awful lot of other things have to be considered when you've got such impressive technology on board a sense of quality in here is just wonderful as you'd expect lots of lovely leathers i mean there's leather everywhere in this car um we've got this uh ship's deck open pour wood that i have to say does look very nice it reminds me of a pinstriped suit uh, fold that back there you've got a couple of cup holders you've got your wireless charging pad down there um, you've got the controls here to, well, there's a few shortcut buttons to control the uh, screens in front of you. That's your little user uh, fingerprint, so you can have two users here, so that the car can memorise and have all the car's settings assigned to two drivers. A bit more storage down there as well. This car's just like the EQS, there's 64 different colours of ambient lighting. This being an SUV, there is um, a off-road mode, so you can slide that there, and then you get all your off-road information, tyre pressures, uh, the position of the car, the, the amount of drive that's going to each wheel, you've got the suspension articulation there as well. Although I think it's safe to say this is an SUV that's not going to be going off-road that much. Three versions have been revealed at launch, the rear-wheel drive EQS 450 Plus and the four-wheel drive 454 Matic and 580 4Matic models. All use the EQS Saloon's 107.8 kilowatt hour battery, which should give a claimed range of between 333 and 410 miles on the two wheel drive 450 Plus, and between 315 and 380 miles on the four wheel drive models. All get 11 kilowatt AC charging, with 22 kilowatt as an option and 200 kilowatt DC rapid charging. Air suspension with adjustable damping and rear wheel steering is also standard equipment. The EQS SUV will arrive in the UK in late 2022 and Mercedes has so far given no indication of price. However, I'd predict prices will kick off at over £100,000, while any performance AMG model, should one arrive, would be in the region of £160,000. So there we are then, that is the new EQS SUV. If you've got any questions, please do drop them in the comments box below. If you've liked this video, give it a little thumbs up. And for much more content like this, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, thanks very much for watching and goodbye.